Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you again so much for our time together. It's a beautiful privilege of mine to get to share with you just a little bit every day. It's a beautiful Monday morning. Don't go, oh no, it's Monday. Go, oh praise God, it's Monday. The goodness and mercy of God is going to follow me all the days of my life. God's going to bless the work of my hands this week. God is going to bless and prosper you. Now right now, I want us to come back to the book of John chapter 16. John 16. I want to talk to you about the fruit of teaching. I will never forget Sister Bev and I sitting down and talking with a young lady who had her master's degree in theology from the U.S. and she looked at us and we were telling her, teach the Bible. And she said, my professors always told me not to bore people with the Bible. And I remember how Sister Bev and I just looked at each other in shock that in seminary people would be taught not to bore people with the Bible. And I thought, how many services today and how many churches is today is there a, a famine, as the Bible says, a famine for the Word of God, where you might hear one verse in a service or you might not. It might just be all human wisdom or stand-up comedy with people telling jokes and feel-good talks. But brothers and sisters, there are purposes to teaching. Now let me give you two of them today. John 16, verse 1. Jesus said, all these things I have told you so that you will not go astray. Now that's a beautiful thought. Jesus said, I've taught you all these things. And really, he's this beautiful teaching from John chapter 14, 15, 16, all this teaching. Jesus said, I've taught you all of this so that you will not go astray. How can a young man keep his way pure, the Bible says, except according to the word of God? Now, if people don't know the word, they're going to go astray. If they don't know the path, they're going to get off the path. Now, brothers and sisters, if you go to a church and they don't teach you the Bible, well, yeah, we teach the Word, but listen, do they teach the Word or do they teach human wisdom? Do they teach the Word? Do you hear verses? Do you hear exposition? Do you hear a lot of the Bible? Or do you just hear somebody's ideas that sound good and maybe allude to a scripture? You need the Word so that you will not go astray. There are many believers today that are going astray, and it's the fault of the preachers. It is the fault of the pulpit because they're not teaching. The second one, come down to the end of chapter 16, verse 33. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. He said, I've taught you all this, so that in me you may have peace. Jesus teaches us. He, he told them, I've taught you all these things so that you won't go astray. And I've taught you all these things that you'll have peace. When you understand what's going on around you, when you understand the problems and the challenges, and the, when you understand, you're, you're not panicked, you're not afraid. Knowledge brings peace. Now, when you and I understand from the scriptures, these are the events of prophecy. When we understand from scriptures, things that are going to happen. When we understand from scriptures things that are happening in our own life that are the work of the Holy Spirit. When we understand from the scriptures all these things, there is peace. And I would challenge you today. Number one, don't go to a church where they don't teach the Bible. And I don't mean they stand up and they talk a bit. I mean, do they teach the Bible? And number two, every day in your own devotions, read the Bible. Read your Bible from Genesis to Revelation every year. Don't just read pieces that make you feel good. Well, I want to read a psalm today because I don't feel good. Get onto our website. You can download a free Bible reading guide. You'll read some Old Testament, New Testament, some Psalms and Proverbs every day. Read through the entire Bible every year. Be systematic about it. You need to learn the Word.